impedance reactance diagram problems problem number 5 so draw the per unit impedance and reactance diagram for the electrical power system shown in figure showing all the impedances in per unit choose a base of 50 mva 13.8 kv in the circuit of generator g1 so the base value is given here and the single line diagram is given over here so the, the generator and transformers are rated like this so generator g1 20 mva 13.8 kv and uh, reactance is 20 percentage generator g2 is 30 mva 18 kv x equal to 20 percentage g3 is 30 mva 20 kv x equal to 20 percentage and transformer t1 25 mva and star side is 220 kv and delta side is 13.8 kv and x equal to 10 percentage and transformer t2 it comprises of uh, three single phase transformer each rated at 10 mva and the voltage rating of 127 bar 18 kv okay so this you need to note it down very important that is transformer t2 it's not a single three phase transformer but it is a three single phase transformer grouped together to form a three phase transformer each unit it rated at 10 mva and the voltage ratings are 127 bar 18 kv okay and the x value is 10 percentage and transformer t3 35 mva and star side the voltage rating are 220 kv and another star side is 20 kv x equal to 10 percentage so these are the data given so you need to uh, draw the per unit impedance and reactance diagram and find out the parameters first here in this problem so transformer t2 ratings are given in a single phase so you need to multiply the power by 3 power rating is 10 mva for each unit so there are three units so 10 mva into 3 so 30 mva is here actual mva of your transformer and star side voltage be multiplied with root 3 that is 127 into root 3 that gives you 220 kv so therefore the transformer rating will become 30 mva 220 bar 18 kv and x equal to 10 percentage okay so you need to multiply this root 3 for only the star side voltage okay not for the other side and now you can divide the single line diagram into various sections so the generator 1 and transformer LT side become a section one, and transformer T1 HT side, then transformer T2 HT side, and transformer T3 HT side all comes under the transmission line. All the three transmission lines are there. Okay, this all comes under section two. So the voltage rating remains same for all these uh, components. So it is comes under section two. And LT side of transformer T2 and the generator G2 comes under section three. And LT side of transformer T3 and generator G3 comes under section four. So like that you can divide the section into four. So now you need to find out the base value for all the section based on the transformers initially in the question it is mentioned that choose a base of 50 mva 13.8 kv in the circuit of generator g1 it is mentioned that base mva is given in the problem that is 50 mva and 13.8 kv is specified in the problem for a generator g1 now so for section 1 since we have taken a generator as a base value generator 1 base kv equal to 13.8 kv which is specified in the problem And for section two, KVB on HT side of transformer T1 equal to KVB on LT side of transformer T1 into HT voltage rating divided by LT voltage rating. And here the LT side of transformer T1 that is here section one that is 13.8 into transformer ratings are 13.8 bar 220. So you can substitute 220 divided by 13.8. You will be getting 220 kV as your base value for section two. And for section three, section three under low tension side of a transformer T2 so that is equal to high tension side of transformer T2 into LT by HT of that particular transformer. High tension side is 220 into 18 divided by 220. You will be getting 18 kV as a base kV on section three. Similarly for section four, KBB on LT side of transformer T3 equal to KBB on HT side of transformer T3 into LT voltage rating by HT voltage rating of transformer T3. So you can substitute here the T3 ratings are um, the 220 bar 20 kV. You can substitute 20 by 220 over here and the HT side voltage ratings under section two 220 that gives you 20 kV. And these are the base kV on all the sections. So now section four, that is here the transformer KVB on LT side of transformer T3, that is equal to KVB on HT side of transformer T3 into LT divided by HT voltage rating, that gives you 220, that is your uh, actual base KVB on section two into 20 divided by 220, that is a rating of a transformer T3 here, that gives you 20 kV as your base KVB on section four. These are the base KVB of all the sections. Now you need to find out the per unit uh, impedance of each component. So what are all the components present here? The generator G1, transformer one, transmission line one, then this. Trans transmission line two, transformer two, generator two, then transmission line three, transformer three, and generator three. So this much of components you need to find out the per unit impedance. So first we start with the generator. Generator is under section one. The base KV is 13.8 KV. You can apply the direct formula. Is that per unit volt equal to KVB volt divided by KVB new the volt square into MVAB new divided by MVAB old. So the volt represents a given value. So if you need a new value that that is equal to the given value of an impedance that is 20 percent is 0.2. 
since it is a reactance you need to mention with the j so j 0.2 into and kvb old it is a given value 13.8 divided by the base value 13.8 into the base value of uh, mba t given in the problem divided by 20 is a given value that gives you j 0.5 per unit this is how you can calculate for the generator similarly you can apply the same formula for the transformer t1 with refer to the primary side so you need to uh, the primary side is uh, under section 1 you need to take the base kv of se section 1 find out this per unit impedance so that uh, you can substitute the value it's a 10 percentage so 0.1 and kvb old is 13.8 divided by kvb new that is the base value is 13.8 and MVAB new, it remains same throughout the problem, 50 divided by here, the given value is 25. For transformer 1, you will be getting 0.2 per unit. And third one is a transmission line 1. Under section 2, it is a transmission line 1, that is J50 ohm transmission line, the direct formula. Z per unit new equal to Z actual into MV base new divided by KV base new the whole square. So actual value of Z is J50 into, at that section 2, your MV is 50 and KV is 220 whole square, that is equal to J.05 per unit. So in the similar fashion, you can find out for tra transmission line 2, so that is J80 ohm. So the only thing is, here you need to substitute J80 ohm and 50 divided by 220 the whole square, you will be getting J.08 per unit. Followed by the transmission line 2, we will be having a transformer T2. So for that, you need to apply this formula. And this transformer T2 primary, which is under section 2. So section 2 KVB value will be 220 KV, you can apply this in this formula. So given value of Z per unit is 10 percentage, so 0 0.1 and given value of KVB is 220 divided by the base value is 220 and the base MVA is 50 and the given value of uh, MVA is 30 MVA. So you'll be getting J.17 per unit. So you can apply the same formula for a generator G2 also. Okay, and but generator G2 is under section 3. So under section 3, the base KV is 18 KV. So this is the only change, uh, 18 KV as a base value and a given value also 18 KV. You can substitute and it's a 20 percentage reactance so j8.2 will be getting this answer now we are moving on to this transmission line 3 this is under section 2 again so the base kv is 220 kv directly you can apply this formula so this formula you can apply only for the transmission line and uh, cables and all okay so z actual into mva b new divided by kv the whole square so the that is equal to j 100 ohm given in the problem into 50 divided by 220 the whole square you will be getting j.10 per unit and followed by that you will be having a transformer t3 so you can apply this formula z per unit old that is 0 0.1 10 percentage is given in the problem and um, the kvb given is 220 so here we are referring to the primary side divided by the primary side is 220 under section 2 so 220 you need to substitute the whole square into mvab new divided by mvab old so new is a base value 50 given in the problem and this old is a given value of the transformer 35 so you need to substitute you will be getting a reactance of j.14 per unit okay so here i have taken this side ht side okay so section 2 base kv i have selected and if you are considering uh, lt side you can uh, take section 4 base kv to calculate the reactance for transformer t3 finally the generator g3 so it is under section 4 so section 4 the base kv is 20 kv and you can apply that here so z per unit old is 20 percentage here given 20 percentage is given here so you can substitute j.2 and the kvb old that is uh, given value is 20 kv and the new value also 20 kv and that is into mvab new that is the base value is 50 divided by mvab old is given value 30 mba here it is 30 mba so you can substitute you'll be getting this answer we found the per unit impedance of all the components and now we are going to draw the impedance diagram and the reactance diagram and substitute all the values so here also uh, the resistance and shunt capacitance are not given so your impedance diagram and the reactance diagram remains same so here is your impedance diagram so first the generator with the reactance and the answer is 0 0.5 j.5 you can substitute here and for transformer reactant j.2 line 1 reactance j.05 and you'll be having a center junction here and uh, you'll be having line 2 j.08 transformer 2 j.17 and uh, generator 3 is j.33 and from here you will be having a line 3 j.1, transformer 3 j.14 and generator 2 j.33. So like that you can connect and draw the impedance diagram. So the procedure to draw this impedance and reactance diagram will be explained uh, in another video. You can see the description box for this uh, procedure. And the reactance diagram also remains same as your impedance diagram. So since there is no resistance and load or shunt capacitance present in this uh, problem.